Hello and what's up guys. So while I was trying to install Windows 10, I was getting this error. Windows cannot be installed to this disk. The selected disk is of the GPT partition style. So this error is happening because the hard disk of your computer is in the GPT partition format. But you are booting from an installation media that is not meant for a GPT partition style. So you, what you can do is you can delete the, the GPT partition of your computer but this will lead to data loss or you can convert your installation media so that it will work for the GPT partition style. For creating a bootable USB media in the GPT partition style, what you need is the ISO image of your Windows and then you can download this software called Rufus. So you go to Google. and then search for Rufus R U F U S and click on this link and then scroll down and go to the download section and download this Rufus download it but if your windows uh, comes in a DVD then first you need to copy the, your windows from the DVD into an ISO image you can use any DVD burning software okay if you're not having any DVD burning software then you can search in you can search in Google just search for DVD burning software okay yeah you, you can use this uh, software called burnover I'm using this one it works just fine so you click on this link burnover and then download it okay you download it after you finish to download it then install it after you finish to install it you insert your DVD and then you select this option copy to ISO okay and now you open Rufus and uh, here device is your uh, USB drive and in the partition scheme you have to select GPT partition scheme for UEFI okay and here file system it is FAT32 okay and then here in ISO image you select the ISO ISO image of your windows okay so mine is saved in desktop so I'm selecting my windows 10 ISO image okay and then after selecting your ISO image you again check whether the partition scheme is in GPT partition scheme for UEFI or not because sometimes after selecting the ISO image the G, uh, partition scheme gets changed automatically okay and then after that you click on start Okay. After it is done, you close it and then restart your computer. After restarting your computer, you go into the BIOS settings and in the boot mode, you have to select UEFI. Okay, because for GPT partition style, you need to boot it in UEFI mode. Okay, and then you boot from your USB drive. And now, at the time of Windows installation, that error will not come up again. The second option is if you don't have access to Rufus or all this then you can delete the GPT partition at the time of Windows installation but all your data will be lost so I'll show you how to do this so at the time of installing your Windows instead of going to install now you go to repair your computer okay and then you go to troubleshoot and then you go to advanced options and then you go to command prompt and then this command prompt screen comes up and then here you type disk path okay and then after that you type list disk okay so after typing list disk all your disk will be listed up here so disk zero uh, here star mark is there so means this disk is of the GPT partition format okay so now you select the disk that you want to delete the GPT partition so I'm typing select disk 
0 and now this 0 is selected and then after that you type clean okay when you type this command all the data of your disk will be lost okay so this part succeeded in cleaning the disk okay so it's done now and now you can check again by uh, typing list disk whether the GPT partition has been deleted or not okay now see here in disk 0 the star mark is not there anymore so the GPT partition has been deleted and now you can restart your computer and then boot from your USB drive and then install your windows this time while selecting disk uh, partition 2 that error is not coming up so then you click on next and then install your windows okay thanks for watching please like share and subscribe